Hi everybody and uh, welcome back, uh, or should I say welcome back to me, uh, it's been a while, I think about two or three weeks since my last video, uh, well some of you know I've been sick, I'm still in uh, recovery, but uh, I can't wait anymore, I'm trying to get back onto the servers and games and everything, it's very tiring but I'm trying, and um, well, you, first of all, you might notice there's been some changes in this area. Last time, I think you guys saw this area. It was the, the wood farm that I built up and everything. And uh, today we are doing a andesite farm. And we're going to build up a little bit to decorate our lava farm area. I made a couple other changes. So uh, I think let's quickly just jump into a uh, time lapse and uh, see what I did. Enjoy. Well, the first thing you're obviously going to notice is the very big walls that are around the farm here. Yeah? Um, I did the same for the gold farm side and the iron farm. And uh, one of the main things is this little waterway. Um, where some people were asking me, what am I going to do with my... All the flint and gravel and things like that. Well... Yeah, you can see I've got a little overflow for gravel. Now I changed this little section here of it. So that gra it still sends gravel to the farm itself. But I'm like uh, just stealing a little bit at a time there. So I've got a steady flow coming through. Which is going all the way down here to the end of side farm. And I think we need to go, which is the safest way around here now. Um, oops, wait, I need to get up here quickly. Oh, come on. Okay, well, there you can see uh, where the gravel's going, and there's an overflow out of this here, in case any gravel comes through. But let's jump up there, and then we can go down this way. Uh, okay, here we go. And okay, there we can see now. So, there the gravel is going through, and what I did was. We've got an overflow. Wait, let me go to my camera and make it a little bit easier. This here was the overflow for the flint. So you can see the flint going in. So this thing is filled up already with flint. This is the second overflow. So what I did was add a little filter on here. And that's now going to the andesite farm. So 
We have got our doors, a little doors I came in. And you can see I made a big wall around the other farm as well. So that's all still the same over there. Okay, here is our andesite farm and a little, you see the decorating on the lava farm. So, uh, let's see if we can just open a little door over here. Okay, so there we got, whoops, so you can see, let's quickly do that, there we go, that's better. Okay, so here you can see the gravel coming up. There's a little bubble column there and spits it out, goes into that little storage and I've got the same here except with belts for the flint coming from that side of the farm. So that's why I always kept the extra gravel and the extra flint. And then from the lava farm, uh, we are I joined up these, all these storage tanks over here in the front. So this is now pumping, you can see the pump going through there, into this big storage tank, which is now full again. And that lava is getting pumped, as you can see there, into that. Now, you take gravel and the flint, and you mix it with the lava, and you get andesite. Now this thing has been running the whole time while I've been busy around here cleaning up building and I've got let's just see is it all filled up already yep this all filled up so this whole big vault is filling up already so eventually when this stops sending out that means we are all filled up so that solves my andesite problem because yeah I know that you need andesite for a lot of things so we have got quite a few blocks automated, terracotta, we've got andesite, everything. The next thing we need is, what else we need? Red sand to make more granite, because granite is a little bit of a shortage. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. And this thing is storing a lot of lava. But it uses basically a bucket of lava every single time just to make one piece of andesite. So that is a little bit of a problem. But we've got plenty of lava, so it's not a problem. And there we tied it up a bit over there. Let's quickly have a look. Uh, I just built it up a little bit here. So I'm going to put a little roof or something on. Uh, let's get a better view there we can see now so now i just need to put on a roof or something on here i'm not sure what kind of roof yet and i nearly forgot how lava farm is looking a little bit better i covered up the lava because i was a bit worried i'm going to start falling in because i actually nearly fell into the lava itself but we had a little bit of decoration to the building and it's looking quite nice So a couple of hours of work for uh, 10 minutes for you guys. <laughs> well, um, there's not much else that I've done. I've tried to do as much as I can, but uh, yeah, me being a bit ill is slowing things down and I get tired very quickly. But I couldn't wait to show you guys what I've done and... I want to get on with this. So it came out pretty good. Everything is starting to look like a real industrial area. So I am happy with that. I think let's... Oh, look at this. I, I think this is cool. A sliding door. Made out of glass. Why can't they do that in normal Minecraft? Well, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I have now reached my limit. Um, so we finally sorted out the site, But there's a lot more to come. So stay tuned. Consider subscribing. Support the channel, maybe. Yeah, comment to any ideas and things or things I maybe might have done wrong. Let me know. 
But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy your Minecraft, and I'll see you guys again. Cheers, guys.